Tommy, through to the next round, what were your thoughts on the game? Well, again, it was a, a good start for us. Um, you know, I thought first half we probably played a lot better than what we did in the second half. Um, got ourselves in front. Um, I think the game was probably littered with too many mistakes from us, too many loose passes, too many individual errors, and that allowed Montrose, who are a decent side, you know, probably too many opportunities for for my liking. And um, you know, if they'd have taken the chances, uh, even though I do think you know we're the better team, that um, they could have you know probably taken that game beyond ninety minutes. Um, so particularly second half we were loose, and that's something we've got to learn from. Because um, you know, whilst we're happy that we won, it's also important that we highlight that uh, we could have done better even in victory. It's absolutely key, isn't it, that you, you have the ability to be self-critical and, and see what you can do better while being pleased with. The yeah, part. I mean that's that's um, you know you can have a um, a negative along with a positive, and the positive is we're through the next round. But you know they're good professionals. They know. I mean, I, I want the standards to be high all the time. And um, you know, with important games coming up, I think with all due respect to Montrose, better teams might have might have punished us. Um, so we we've got to make those demands of the players to make sure that they're right for the next game. Another quick five star, which has been a, a bit of a theme over the last couple of games, but also maybe a slightly sluggish start to the second half. Is that yeah. actually what you're talking about? I, I, yeah, and we've talked. They talked about it at half time. I think a couple of players said the last thing they said in the way out was. We've, we've not started the last couple of games in terms of you know the second half. Even Steny, when we're in total control, the first five ten minutes it wasn't it w wasn't good. So um, you know it, it's something that we've got to um, try and improve on and, and and be better at. Yeah, certainly. You gave a few few players the first few minutes um, for a little while. Lindbu, mm -hmm. uh, Cal Waters as well, and Ross Millen came back in after being suspended, of course, as, as well. Just nice to be able to freshen it up a little bit and then keep the rest of the core in there. Yeah, and, and also get minutes into people's legs. We, you know, I didn't think it's a big risk with the changes we made today and we weren't, you know, we'd still pay in Montrose, you know, total respect. But we have a busy period because we're playing Wednesday, Saturday now, uh, or Wednesday, Sunday, whenever, it, whenever it's going to be. So it's important that, um, you know, players like Malumbu, uh, Waters, um, Callum Waters get um, you know ninety minutes. Uh, you know we're able to get Tish on who had a wee injury uh, last week. Um, Kelty gets ninety minutes in below his belt as well. So that that was important. And an exciting week, as you say, a big game against the United here, and then a cup quarter final against St Mirren. Just to, how much are you looking forward? To? Looking forward to it immensely after you know getting through. Um, but the focus now will be the the, first, the next game, and the most important game is going to be the Dundee United one, and um, West. The staff will prepare away from the players for uh, and get the you know everything together what we need for St. Byrne. The main focus of the group will be Dundee United and hopefully three points.